Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. Sunday afternoon has a huge matinee game in the Western Conference between the Los Angeles Clippers playing host to the Oklahoma City Thunder in game four with the uh, uh, Thunder stealing back home court advantage in game number three and now have a two to one series lead heading into this game number four action. Now the no NBA odds out just yet at either the uh, Vegas or offshore odds. There's a couple of Vegas books that could have the odds out here. It looks like that the, uh, the uh, Thunder, excuse me, could end up being a slight favorite in this game about one point depending on where these odds open up and I'm sure the total will uh, probably stay right around the 213 to 215 range uh, somewhere in there but no odds out just yet make sure you check out my article later in the afternoon for a pick on that but for game for game number four uh, if Durant and Westbrook cannot be contained by the uh, Los Angeles Clippers and if the Clippers get into a shooting match a uh, shooting match with the uh, Thunder again in game number four Clippers might as well kiss their uh, not only their uh, hopes of advancing, but goodbye, but their title hopes as well because you cannot beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in a shootout, especially when their best three players, Durant, Ibaka, and Westbrook, are all combining for 63% shooting from the floor. Ibaka especially was a huge counter to Blake Griffin's big night. Griffin ended up with 34 points in Game 3, but Ibaka countered that with 20 points of his own on 9 of 10 shooting and with the uh, Thunder huge uh, huge advantage for them in game number three was the fact that they had five players score in double figures the uh, three I just mentioned along with Karan Butler and Reggie Jackson with four, chipping in with 14 apiece. So if they can get solid bench production and produ as well as double figure scoring from Ibaka, they're, uh, they're going to be very hard to beat. And the Clippers, the only way they're going to be able to beat the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder in this game is if they tighten down on defense. And uh, even though they won't be able to stop Westbrook and Durant completely, they should be able to stop Ibaka with Blake Griffin if he mans up on defense, which he really hasn't been able to do. It's been the one, uh, really one remaining huge knock on his game uh, from all the improvement that he showed on the offensive end this year but like I said they cannot win in a shootout if the Clippers don't tighten down on defense in the fourth quarter which is exactly what killed them in game three they were close throughout the third quarter start of the fourth quarter and uh, then the Thunder I think outscored them by 10 points almost in the uh, in the fourth quarter and uh, scored over 30 points in that quarter as well so the Clippers need to tighten down I think they're going to make some adjustments and do just that uh, in the fourth quarter of the next game if they can keep things close throughout but with five Thunder and double figures that's going to be they're going to be very hard to beat if they're getting production like that so make sure you check out uh, my article uh, on sbrforum.com for my official play on this game with the official odds as they come out here and settle throughout uh, all of uh, all across the world but until then i'm jordan sharp and this has been another edition of the sharp pick <laughs>